brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The school community is reaching out to the general public as Christmas break is a time the Guam Department of Education has to keep their guard up. According to GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez, in order to protect their assets, it will mean branching out to the community for help. I know that uh, you know we've talked about strengthening our relationships with our mayors, uh, meaning ensuring that you know with the mayors and with law enforcement and with the schools that there's, there are ways to communicate. Um, you know, over the weekends, over the breaks, make sure that everybody has the, each other's contact information. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure we provide access to campuses for our, for our law enforcement partners so that when something happens, especially when we're not in session, uh, we're aware of it and can respond quickly. As a department, they have internal communication protocols secured, and now it's a matter of working more closely with external partners, such as respective village mayors, the Guam Police Department, and other law enforcement agencies. This can be done by one recent mechanism, the Neighborhood Watch programs, explains Fernandez. With all the break-ins that, ha that you see happening on the mm -hmm. island, uh, you know, cars driving by and maybe taking things out of garages or the front yards, I think that the more eyes that we have on, on you know, in the village, the better. Uh, that goes as well for our schools. So our schools are, you know, what we call big assets in the middle of the villages. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of equipment, a lot of supplies, um, a lot of, you know, area there if, you, if, if vandals are interested in trying to create damage. Often suspicious activity is transmitted through WhatsApp group chats. Fernandez says if a school official or administrator can be in each neighborhood watch group, it could make a big difference. Right now we hear some of those, those discussions, you know, uh, some of our board members are in the neighborhood chats. They hear something, they'll let us know. And so, you know, that's, that's been very helpful. But now I think we want to say, hey, let's get some of our personnel on those chats so that you can hear that information faster and you know so we can respond as quickly as possible. This has led to the possible implementation of neighborhood watch groups adopting a school. What usually happens with the neighborhood watch group is they're watching their street, they're watching each other's houses. We're just encouraging them that they take into account the fact that schools, you know, school facilities may be targets for people who are, you know, have nothing better to do and, and want to, uh, you know, looking at stealing things or vandalizing things. So we're just hopeful that as these neighborhood watch groups develop, that the schools are part of that conversation and that our personnel are also part of those conversations. In past years, break-ins are common during this time, and Fernanda says while it's a time of gift giving, it is also a time for mischief. I think as we celebrate, we also need to be vigilant and you know we can use all the support uh, that we can get uh, here at the, at the Department of Education. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero. Brought to you by GTA, we start with you.